Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? I rediscovered my beautiful water and nature cards. I love these so much. They bring me so much peace and solace and I honestly believe that there can be so much grounding and soothing energy that's garnered from bodies of water, especially I live on I'm actually bookended by two beaches and the other day when I went for a walk on one it was like all the stress all the crazy stuff that has to do with phones and glitches and mercury retrograde just dissipated in the air and disappeared on just viewing you know this beautiful sunset down the beach and this has to do with for me for sure is recognizing that our soul really can weather any storm if we are not caught up in that icky sticky matrix mentality of I must do this I must prove that I need validation gotta have you know materialism all those things that can suck us in what we see through you know commercialism and everything that's just kind of like lobbed at us on a daily basis where we just no I'd rather look at nature I'd rather you know walk through the forest I'd rather sit in my yard I'd rather ponder on the beach and there really is something that just eradicates pressure when you're by big bodies of water and when we remember that whatever's happening right now that we have endured a lot harder I remember childbirth and I was like oh there's nothing harder than this then I was ready to do it again like within a couple years it's just one of those things where when we're in the moment, it is what our lens is fixated on it. And where we want to point our lens is to the beauty, the joy, the love, the connection, our fortitude, our resilience, our joie de vivre by just taking pleasure in the little things, those moments that are magic and collect them and put them in our pocket and, you know, just popping along happily, making wonderful connections with people. And this is part of that, you know, may you see the sublime in every day. To me, that is a sunrise, a sunset, somebody laughing because they just are getting joy out of something they see or heard. Um, nature provides us with a rich tapestry every day to enjoy, look at, absorb sights, smells, sounds, whispers of the wind. I have this really wonderful light catcher in my backyard and sometimes I forget it's there. Every once in a while, I'll go out on my back step and I'll just see all these rainbows shooting all over it. I, it's like a multi-tiered, all different carved crystal orbs that are on this line. And they just create this spectrum of color. And it's so wondrous. And I love color and I love reflective light. And I just sit there in awe of it and go, you know what? There's, there's magic in all these little moments. Because you pause and while you're busy being absorbed in the light and the warmth that something can provide, we forget to just be busy for no reason at all. We forget to worry about stuff that don't, doesn't need worrying about and doesn't warrant it. And when we do it, it wastes our time. Now we're focused on the more beautiful things. And that reminds me of this. May you be as potent as the ocean. As you know, water is one of the most powerful forces. It can erode rock. And over time, this... If we stay, you know, if we stay resilient and we lean into something and we give it our time and attention and love, the barriers will erode away and we will get there. We will carve our way through that path. And that's the thing about, I feel like modern day society, we're so used to, I myself am too, that prime delivery, like let's get it by tomorrow, need it, need it, need it, want it faster, faster. When really it is just a conscious effort daily towards something, whether it is to eat better, whether it is to pause before we speak, whether it is to learn something new. I like a, a nice example for that is probably language. I remember um, really wanting to learn like conversational French, relearn. I had nine years in school, never hardly used it. And then I just started listening to shows where people were speaking French and just started regrouping and re-listening and languages like that you're not going to be an expert and speak fluently in the language 
in one study session, right? It is gradual. So if we keep on something, we ha it has a potency, it has a concentration, and will get us where we need to go. That's what I feel like with videos that I watch too of certain readers that really lift me and refocus my energy to, yeah, you know what? Everything is possible. And I do deserve this. And I am limitless and I'm going for it. And let's go and reach and stretch and believe. And that's a good, that's a good um, catchphrase or switch word too, you know, potency, because do we want to be effective? Do we want something rich and deep and changing and spectacular? If so, we've got to keep at it, right? I know sometimes as an artist, I just go completely bonkers and want to do a hundred things. I'm really excited. I just made this right now, but now I know I'm going to show you because I love the textures and colors together. And these are actually um, rough sapphires. And I'm really into like coins right now, the Zodiac coins. And I just made this, but now I have to see if I want to have it. I made it the length so it could be a bracelet or I could do it into a multi-tiered necklace. So what I did before I began was I, I had a really organized approach. I said, I'm going to clear everything. I'm not going to have all mixed beads and stuff everywhere. I'm going to work on one surface on one tray. I'm just using blues and silvers and that's it. Keep it simple. Again, just like the ocean. It's very inspiring. And with that, I kept at it. It was like, uh, I kept lining it up. Well, how will this fall? How will this look? And first it was just a vision in my head. And then I was like, yeah, I'm going to focus and follow through. And that's what helps us become powerful as well. So my beauties, that is what you are meant to hear today. I hope you all have a great day. Love and light.